Welcome everyone. This is Professor Dan at the University of Colorado Boulder. I'm an instructor and we're going to play around with buttons. So we want to use buttons in Arduino. And so the first thing we want to do is, yeah, let's make a light light up without an Arduino. Let's see if that works. So here we go. How are we going to do it? Well, first of all, we need a light. There we go. We need a button. There we go. Let's get a breadboard. I love it. I don't even have to buy. Tinkercad's great. I don't even have to buy it. And let's get a power source. So if I want to eventually simulate Arduino, I would need five volts. But if I look up five volts, there's no five volt battery. What I can do though is I can get three 1.5 volt batteries and that gives me four and a half volts which for this video is going to be close enough how does that work well we have 1.5 volts plus 1.5 volts plus 1.5 volts that is four and a half volts all right so i'm going to hit the r key i'm going to rotate my stuff so i got my led i got a push button and i got a battery source so i'm going to rotate that around cool all right Built-in switch, no. All right, so I'm gonna use my button as my switch. So the first question that comes with these buttons is how are these connected? Well, if we had a multimeter with a continuity function, we would just hook up um, our leads to these terminals and we would see, we listen for the beep and when it beeped, we'd know that those were connected. In this particular case though, we don't really know, but I will tell you that when you hit the button, everything's connected. The button's basically just a piece of metal pushed into another piece of metal, connecting all of these terminals together. If you don't hit the button, this terminal and that terminal are connected, and this terminal and that terminal are connected. And we can test that out if we want. So what I'd like to do is bring my button over to the middle to go over this center channel. So now if we want to hook up this LED, we want to rotate it so the anode and cathode aren't in the same terminal or same row, I should say. And we gotta get our battery power to the positive. And I like making that red. And then black to the negative. Black. And then if I hit the S key, I can start my simulation. Start my simulation, there we go. What's gonna happen when I hit the button? Is it gonna light up? Let's see. We broke it. Why did we break it? When we mouse over, it says current through the LED is 322 milliamps, while the absolute maximum is 20 milliamps. Oops. And if we think about it, there's a variety of different ways to think about it, but if we have 4.5 volts here, and this LED dissipates about, let's call it two volts, we learned that from the spec sheet, where do the other two volts go? You can see we have a problem, which is why, we often have resistors. So let's incorporate a resistor before we break it again. Well, yeah, we learned a little something. So there we go, we take our resistor, and we know from previous work that 330 would work. In another video, I'll go over how we can size those resistors. But for now, we have 330 ohms in our kit. So, and that's the SIK kit from SparkFun. We use those in class, it's fantastic. Um, and now let's see if it works. So if I hit S, we start our simulation. I hit my button, there we go, not breaking. So what is, what is our voltage drop? How would we tell? Well, let's add a multimeter. Multimeter, so we can use this tool and we can see what the voltage drop is. So if we click our positive to the top and our negative just below, and then I hit start simulation. When I hit the button, we can see that we have a voltage drop of 1.96 volts across our LED. Therefore, what do you expect the voltage drop across our resistor to be? Well, let's stop our simulation. Let's just 
plug in this. Start it again. When I connect it, it's 2.53. For a total of about 4.5 volts, it's a little bit less probably because I think TickerCAD might take into account the wires, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, but 2.53 plus 1.96, Let's do that right now. 2.53 plus 1.96. 2.53 plus 4.49. 5 volts. And so that's just a quick introduction to buttons. In the next video, we're going to start with this, and we're going to move on, and we're going to learn some nuances with Arduino. So I will see you there. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it's fun to learn about buttons. All right, we will see you in, see you next time.